Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Weasel 1 Mark 20 Armored Weapons Carrier. This here is a German light air transportable armored fighting vehicle, more specifically a widely armored weapons carrier. It is quite similar to historical scouting tank gets in size, form, and function, and is only the true is the only true uh, modern tank get in use in Western Europe. The Weasel has uh, was developed for the German Army to meet a requirement for an air transportable light armored vehicle for use by its airborne troops as the infantry of the uh, German Bundeswehr. Uh, especially airborne infantry were cons uh, considered unprepared f to successfully fight enemy main battle tanks in the 1970s. The requirements were that the vehicle should be should fit in common NATO transport planes and could eventually be airdropped. It should uh, be able to fight infantry as well as enemy tanks or aircraft. Uh, so overall, it's a really interesting vehicle. There's a total of 343 of these built and production. Uh, basically was uh, started in 1993. I don't know if they're still currently in production. I don't think they are, um, but uh, production was in 1993 and um, I think that might have been the only year they actually made these. And uh, overall, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of little different variants with it uh, based on the chassis. The one we're going to be building today is the one with the 20 millimeter uh, main gun on it. There are also uh, versions of the tow launchers, uh, scouting reconnaissance ones, and even ones that are equipped to be uh, mine detecting vehicles. So uh, overall really cool and uh, hopefully we can do uh, quite a good little line here of uh, weasel ones because they are definitely a very interesting uh, vehicle and as I mentioned the only modern tank yet still in service. Um, so anyways going ahead and uh, taking a look at the uh, vehicle we're going to go ahead and obviously you know just take a quick look see what we got going on here so you guys know what you're building. Um, to start off with, off with, we have the chassis, uh, one of the main defining features between the Weasel 1 and the kind of the quote unquote upgraded version of the Weasel 2 is the length of it. So this is a little bit of a smaller um, vehicle. Um, you can see right here we have the driver's compartment, uh, the vents, engine uh, probably in this area right here. And then on top here we have the 20 millimeter cannon um, and hatch here on the back for um, the uh, gunner. However, I do believe the gunner is able to remote, remotely access the gun. Uh, from the inside and just some minor back details and everything like that. Um, I've also went ahead and also designed a tow version of the weasel as well as a mine detecting version and also reconnaissance version so you can uh, expect to maybe see those sometime in the future if you would like to see those. Uh, this is a redesigned tutorial so the other old design for the weasel one will be taken down after this uh, tutorial goes up. This is definitely a better design for it and I hope you all enjoy. Um, anyways let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer 1. Alright guys, so starting off with our first layer, we're going ahead and start off with layer uh, 1. So for layer 1, what we want to do to get started here is we're going to place down another brick slab like this, followed by another brick top slab coming off of it. Once that's done, come off the slab here, we're going to place down 1, 2, and 3 dark oak wood stairs back, followed by a green stink clay block. On the side of these dark oak wood stairs, we're going to go ahead and place down 1, 2, and 3 item frames. We're all going to go ahead and take green stink clay, place them down in all 3 item frames. Go back to the green stained clay block here and place down an item frame with a cobweb in the item frame and we're also going to place down a stone button on the side of the green stained clay block. Come off the green stained clay block, we're going to place down a nerve brick up down stair just like that and you'll have the side here for the tracks. Once that's all complete there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark oak wood slabs. We're going to place down a row of what is going to be three of dark oak wood slabs across. We're going to then place down a dark or another brick slab on this side and a narrow brick top slab, a copy what we did over there on that side, just over here. So three dark oak wood stairs back, green stain clay block, and a dark oak wood upside down stair, or sorry, dark narrow brick upside down stair. Uh, we then want to go to the sides of these dark oak wood stairs. Again, place down item frames, green stain clay blocks in the item frames. Same thing here on the green stain clay block, item frame, cobweb, and a stone button like that. Once that's done, we're going to take some dark oak wood slabs, place down a uh, quite a bit of rows of three to fill in the space in between all the way back here to the nether brick upside down, upside down stairs just like that for our base so we should get something that looks like that and then lastly we're just going to take a dark oak with uh, top slab place down one come off the center toward the back of course this is the front up here and this is the back um, just like that and once that's complete that is going to do it for layer uh, one with that let's move on to layer two moving on to layer two we're going to start off by placing down a nether brick stair on top of these two nether brick top slabs we then want to go ahead and go in between the stairs and we're going to place down a row of what is going to be three upside down dark oak wood stairs across like that. Once that's done, we're going to take our green stained clay, place down a row of three behind those uh, dark oak wood upside down stairs, followed by dark oak wood top seven on both sides of this row of three. We also want to place down an item frame, come off the side of this dark oak wood top slab with a green stained clay block in the item frame. Same thing like this on this side as well. 
After that, Stubborn placed down Nerbo, three green stained clay across, followed by another brick top slab on both sides. Continuing onward, placed down Nerbo, three of green stained clay across the middle here, followed by a dark oak went up down the stair, again on both sides uh, of this row of three, like that. Once that's done, we're going to place down an additional two rows of three of green stained clay down the middle and two narrow brick slabs along the sides here, like that, going back. Once that's done, we're going to place down a narrow row of three of green stained clay across the back here, uh, followed by a uh, wooden trap door coming off both sides of this uh, row of three of green stained clay. Um, once that's done, coming off those wooden trap doors, uh, we want to place down a dark oak with upside down stair, which is going to be facing this direction. And we're going to go over here to this side and practically do the same thing. So right over here, just like that for the side there. We then want to grab ourselves some mossy cobblestone walls, place down a row of three across in between the mossy cobblestone walls. Lastly, we're going to grab an item frame, place down an item frame on these two dark oak with upside down stairs. We want to go ahead and go into the creative menu, grab ourselves a red stained glass block, place down a red stained glass block on those two item frames like that, or in the item frames, and then assign also on the back of this stair block like this to go ahead and create the back tail lights like that. And the final thing we have for this layer is just two zombie heads, one on uh, these two uh, mossy cobblestone walls. Anyways, once that's all complete, that is going to do it for layer 2. With that, let's move on to layer 3. Alrighty guys, moving on to our next layer, we're going ahead and moving on to layer 3. For layer 3, to start off with, we're going to place down uh, two green carpets, one on top of this dark liquid upside down stair, and one on top of this narrow brick stair for the fenders. In the very middle, we're going to grab ourselves a wooden trap door and place down a wooden trap door on top of this dark liquid stair. Going back, we're going to place down a dark liquid stair going back from the narrow brick, uh, or sorry, the uh, wooden trap door there, followed by a dark liquid slab on both sides of the stair. We then want to grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence post. We're going to place down a dark oak wood fence post on these two dark oak wood top slabs. And then coming off the fence post, we're going to want to place down a uh, dark oak wood fence gate, which we will need to place down a place or a block underneath it, put the gate down and open it up. And uh, you will uh, basically break the item frames, so we have to uh, put those back on again. Um, so we're just going to go and put those back on again, and we're going to do the same thing over here. So just like this, and uh, if you're fast enough, I guess you can keep your item frame there, but uh, make sure you replace the item frames if they do break. Um, anyways, uh, we then want to place down a sign on the side of the dark oak wood fence gate toward the front here. On both sides, we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves item frames again and place down an item frame on these two dark oak wood fence posts on both sides with, some gla with a glass block in each of these for the front headlights. After that's done, going ahead and continuing on, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some green hardened stained clay. We're going to place down a row of three across followed by a dark oak wood upside down stair on both sides here facing toward the front there. After that's done, we're going to go, and go back from the stair. We're going to place down another upside down stair and we just want to take the stair, these row of stairs and go back one, two, uh, three, and four more dark oak wood upside down stairs back. And we're actually going to turn this upside down stair into a corner stair. So we should have a total of four regular stairs along the row here, a corner stair in the front and a corner stair on the back. We're going to go ahead and repeat the same process over here to this side. So just like this going back, corner stair on the back here, just like that. And actually one quick thing you could add on the side here is we can go ahead and go to these two uh, dark oak wood stairs. We can place down two green stained clay blocks and, you know, put down some uh, trip bar hooks on the side here for a little bit of like a little uh, compartment or uh, something like that. They can put gear in or something. And you could do it on both sides, uh, but you can leave it on one side just to kind of vary it up a little bit up to you. Uh, we then want to take some signs and place down signs on the side of the dark oak wood stairs and the corner stair right here on the back. Same thing over here on this side, like so. Once that's done, on the left side here, we're going to place down a green stained clay block with a sign coming off of it. We then want to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair coming off the green stained clay block like this and a corner stair, or a uh, regular upside down stair. That's going to turn this into a corner stair, regular stair, and we have a corner stair to the side there like so. Once that's all complete, that is going to do it for uh, layer three. We can also go ahead and just take some green stained clay and fill it in. Um, you don't really need to, but just to kind of keep it nice and clean, we can just go and fill it in um, completely. Anyways, that right there is going to do it for layer three. With that, let's move on to layer four. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer four. For layer four, to go ahead and get started with, we're gonna go ahead and place down a zombie head on top of this green stained clay block right here. We then wanna go ahead and go basically to the sides of this zombie head and place down a zombie head about a 30 to 45 degree angle, most likely probably like a 30 degree. You basically want these two zombie heads to be at the same angle to each other. Um, so you want something that counts like that in the front there. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go and place down a uh, spruce wood slab behind the middle zombie head. And then to the side over here, we just want to go ahead and place down a um, zombie head that's going to be kind of like at an angle like that, uh, out to the side there. Uh, we can actually 
switch it out and maybe just do it straight will probably look a little bit better so we're gonna go ahead and just do it kind of straight out to the side there like that after that's done we're gonna place down a uh, dark oak wood slab next to the spruce wood slab and then we want to place down a stone brick slab after that to the side we're gonna go ahead and take some green carpet and place down green carpet on this green snakeway block and also on top of this uh, dark oak wood upside down corner stair and then over here in this section coming off this um stone brick slab here we're gonna place down a zombie head about a uh you know slight kind of we'll probably go more of like a 30 degree angle or 45 degree angle like that for this one after that's done uh we're gonna go and take our stone brick slabs place down one and two over here on the left side where they're gonna place down a dark oak wood stair here in the middle like this continuing out to this side we're gonna place down two dark oak wood slabs out to the side like that once that's done, we're going to go take our green stained clay. Um, we want to go and place down a green stained clay block here in the center, followed by a dark liquid stair out to the, the left side. And we're also going to go and place down a nether brick slab also to the left side like that. Over here on the other side, uh, we're going to go and take green stained clay, place down a green stained clay block coming off this one, and a dark liquid slab out to the side like that. Uh, continuing on, we're going to place down a row of two zombie heads along the side here. So we're going to place down one, and uh, in this case, we're actually going to place down a placeholder block followed by a zombie head that comes off the side of the block. Delete this block and then place down the zombie head in its place. So you're just going to want to do that for right there. And we're also going to place down a uh, dark oak wood stair that comes off this stair right here, a, a, the facing the opposite direction, and a dark oak wood slab that goes back. Uh, for our next row over here, we're going to go and place down a dark oak wood stair that comes off this green stained clay block and angle. So it's facing this stair right here and a dark oak wood slab that goes back. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a spruce wood uh, plank. We're going to place down a spruce wood plank here on the back of this dark oak wood stair and a dark oak wood stair come off the spruce wood plank toward the back here. Over here to this side, a dark oak wood stair come off the spruce wood plank. And uh, we're going to do the same thing we do on the other side here. So a zombie head kind of coming off like this placeholder block. We're going to delete the placeholder block and then place down a zombie head in the corner here like that. Uh, once that's all done there, that's going to do it for uh, layer 4. With that, we'll move on to our last final layers here, which are basically going to be layers 5, 6, 7, and 8. We're going to put the gun on top and uh, the antennas and all that fun stuff. So with that, let's move on to our last final layers. All right, guys, moving on to our next uh, set of layers. We're going to be moving on to our final layers 5 through 8. For these layers to get started, we're going to place down a green, or sorry, my bed, an anvil on top of this uh, dark oak wood stair right here. We then want to place down another brick stair coming off the anvil like this toward the front. We're then gonna place down a row of one and two end rods coming off the stair. We're gonna place down a placeholder block, place down a wither skeleton skull coming off the side of this block, delete this block, and then place down an end rod like that. And that's gonna do it there for the barrel of the 20 mil. After that is done on uh, both sides of the anvil here, we're gonna place down a sandstone top slab. So both sides like that. We then wanna go ahead and also place down a, zomb or a skeleton skull coming off these two sandstone top slabs to either side. Over here on the left side, we do have something a little bit different. So we're going to place down a green stinkway block next to this uh, dark or narrow brick stair here. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab some signs and we're going to take signs and wrap it around the green stinkway block. Just like that. Once that's all done there, going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down a green stinkway block behind this anvil. And we're going to follow that up by placing down a mossy cobblestone wall after the green stinkway block. Once that's all done, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence gate. We're going to place it down, come off this green stain clay block uh, to the side here. We're going to have the fence gate open up toward the green stain clay block. Uh, coming off these two skeleton skulls, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab some dark oak wood stairs. And we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair that kind of comes off the skull here to the side there like that. And same thing over here, like so. And we're going to go ahead and take some signs and place down a sign on the backs of the stairs on both sides. Um, once that's done, we're going to place down a zombie head that's going to go on top of this dark oak wood stair right here. So just a zombie head on top of that right there. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a wooden trap door, place it down top of the spruce wood plank here. And we're going to place down an item frame coming off the uh, wooden trap door. And in the item frame, we're going to go ahead and grab some blue light gray sting, or some blue, uh, light blue stained glass. And we're going to place a light blue stained glass pane in that uh, item frame. Uh, once that's done, on the top section here for the gun, we're going to place down some green carpet on these two dark oak wood stairs. We also want to place down a redstone repeater on this green stinkway block with the notches flicked out to the sides like that. And then uh, lastly for the top here, we're just going to place down a wooden trap door over here on this uh, sandstone top step to the left side. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some iron bars. We're going to place down one, two, three, four uh, iron bars going up from these zombie heads. Same thing over here. One, two, three 
and four iron bars going up like that. And once you have that all complete, that's going to pretty much do it for the Weasel 1 Armored Weapons Carrier. Uh, overall, really interesting little vehicle, and as I mentioned, pretty much one of the only modern tank gets really still in service. Uh, so hopefully you guys do enjoy this design and uh, enjoy the redesign for it especially. Um, other than that, guys, that's going to do it for this tutorial. If you guys do not use this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This would be a thing from a sign of the build to to my channel or this video if this does appear in any social media sites. Uh, just be sure I get proper credit for it. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these tutorials. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. Other than that, guys, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is me here at 204, and I'll see you guys next time.